with a price tag at $7.4 billion. Half a billion dollars will go towards affordable housing over two years. It is the largest investment in housing services Seattle has ever seen. That's first time home ownership opportunities. That's funding to support folks staying stably housed and the vast majority of funding going into building more affordable units. The council also included $4 million for youth mental health with a quarter of that going directly to Ingram High School where a student was shot and killed earlier this month. This conversation uh, came together with youth representatives at the table. They asked for greater flexibility so that they could be part of a discussion about how to deploy those dollars. The students asked for funding for providers within school and community-led mental health programming. Junior Natalia McConnell helped organize the student-led protest at City Hall two weeks ago. And it just shows that movements and organizing of students, and if we stand united in solidarity with each other from the north end of Seattle to the south end of Seattle, we can win big changes for the entire Seattle schools. Public safety, a major concern of Seattleites and a point of contention for council members Alex Peterson and Sarah Nelson, who voted no on the budget. I believe that we should have um, allowed for the flexibility of SPD to use its salary savings to meet emergent needs and that eliminating 80 permanent positions is the wrong direction. The 80 police positions are unfilled. SPD has room to hire more than 120 positions. Peterson in a statement saying that the budget could undermine efforts to retain police officers and detectives, while Councilmember Mosqueda says public safety is a priority. We've added funding for regional peacekeepers, added funding for mental health services, funding for gender-based violence support, funding for youth violence reduction programs, and gun violence reduction strategies. Now that the budget has been approved, it will go to Mayor Bruce Harrell's desk where he has the option to either sign it into law, veto it, or do nothing, which then it would go into law. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.